one of the recent advances in the modern sciences modern sciences is understanding the amount of vitamins in your body and there's a big hue and cry about the amount of vitamin d yes vitamin d is very very essential for the body wouldn't it be available in your food components and your lifestyle should it always come in a capsule with the fashion industry and the clothing industry and the housing industry putting us within the closed enclosures by which we maintain optimum care of a full body covered is one of the major culprits of us being deficient in vitamin D. If you look around, who are the people who are suffering from vitamin D deficiency? Not the laborer who's working out in the sun with a shirt off, or not that lady who's working up in the fields, constantly head down, exposing herself to all the sunlight possible. It is only we who sit within our air-conditioned rooms and are not ready to expose our body to the sunlight. We have a body covered fully with our clothing, are the ones who are deficient in this vitamin D. Nature has given us its source for everything. Why is it that we don't find our animals who stand out being deficient in that? Why don't the plants, don't the plants need vitamin D? So all these are exposed to pure elements. We need to expose our body to pure elements at least for some time in a day. And one of it is going out with less amount of clothing and exposing ourselves. Now in countries which, wherein it is not possible for us to expose ourselves further, they do have certain periods in their seasons wherein it is possible for them to go out in sunlight and expose their bodies out. Secondly, when we exercise, we need to see that the body is not totally covered with skin-fitting equipment or skin-fitting clothing. This prevents the body from being exposed to natural light. So when you, have, when you go out for a jog outside or when you go out for a walk outside, see to it that you wear clothing that is only required to be on your body and you need not be fashionable when you do your exercises. It has to be something that is going to help your body rather than something that you can flaunt. So the best way to derive the natural source of vitamin D is by using the sunlight which is abundantly available to many of us. Very few of us are restricted from it. For those of you who are restricted from using the sunlight, you could expose yourself to a 100 watt bulb of the red light or the, the orange form of light, 100 watt bulb of that orange form of light, which if you do it for about 10 minutes is sufficient for you. And for those wherein this too is not possible, the use of seeds and nuts. You could incorporate in sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, linseeds, seeds, flax seeds, almonds and walnuts as very rich sources of food material which may get converted into material that is required for the bones. The other way of doing it for people who are non-vegetarian is by drinking bone soup. Bones are the components of meat or, or the animal which are normally thrown out. If you could collect the bones and for Four liters of water, you use about 400 grams of the bones. It could be either the ribs or it could be the legs or it could be the sh any part of the body which is bony, has a bit of bone marrow in that. This four liters of water, you add the bones and you cook it until it is one liter. And this one liter you use 
about 125 mils to 200 mils depending upon your capacity to digest and absorb as a stock for any food that you can add into. The only precaution that you need to take over here is that you need to add garlic, turmeric and pepper when the bones are cooking so that these three spices can make the soup or the stock palatable at the same time absorbable for the human consumption. And the other component that you need to use or eat over here is adding pure ghee to the stock so that via a fat medium you have nutrient material which is absorbed into the body. So vitamin D need not just come into capsules you have your own ways of deriving out a lot of vitamin D by eating these substances and for those who still cannot afford it green leafy vegetable which is grown everywhere around even the poorest of the poor can afford it could be used as one of the components of regular features in your diet.